Hello, I'm Kylie Garcia with MATV's Neighborhood View. I'm here at the location of the Malden Eats Finale, which is actually going to be a pop-up restaurant headed up by David Stein, who actually runs Stockpot Malden. Uh, this is My Honey Fits, or it used to be. Uh, we are going to be sending this off with a bang, probably one of the last events at this location, April 17th, and I'm about to speak with David Stein about that event. I'm here with David Stein, local Malden chef. Hi, David. Hi, how are you? And tell us where we're standing. We're standing in front of the location of My Honey Fitz, which that was its, its identity for years and years. Its last incarnation was Fitz Ed. Um, it's now in a, the building's been shut down. They're planning on, on tearing it down. So it was a, a great opportunity to do one last, uh, one last fun thing for the community in the old Honey Fitz. So tell us what you're doing. Uh, it's a pop-up dinner. Pop-up started getting popular six, seven years ago, sort of Manhattan and L.A. It was kind of the guerrilla theater of, sh of, of the culinary world. Chefs who were up-and-comers or chefs who were between restaurants would take over a, an abandoned industrial site or, you know, and, and go in and do a under-the-radar dinner for a night or for two nights. You know, bring in, bring in the essentials of the kitchen, bring in a staff, usually without notice to the health department. You know, it would be a, a <laughs> social media last-minute blast kind of thing. And it, it's become sort, you know, a little more co-opted and, and, and a little more legalized, but it's, it's still a, a popular phenomenon, and it's spread to Boston and starting to see it around here. So when will you be holding your pop-up restaurant? This will be uh, the night of the 17th of April, which is a Friday night. It's a celebration of the of the uh, another successful year of Malden Reads, which I've been involved with now for uh, since its inception. I think this is our sixth year, and I've sort of been the the uh, in-house chef for Malden Reads, and have done a series of community dinners and some gala dinners at, at Project Triangle, where my food truck commissary is located. So this is a little different spin on it. We're we're doing uh, I'm doing a buffet dinner here, and then we'll have three full sets of live music from my band. So it's a, it's a little chance to show off, but it's a really a Way to get back to the community. I've been in Malden since 1987, and it's a way to, you know, to give back to do something fun for for the people in in, in Malden. It sounds really fun. Tell us about the food. What are you going to be having? Uh, peanut butter and jelly. No, <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's it's sort of the beginning of spring, so uh, it's sort of barbecue themed. I'm going to do a long. We just got a brand new smoker for our commissary, so I'm going to do a long, low, slow smoked brisket of beef. I'm going to do a, a grilled and then and then finished roasted in the truck uh, chicken Scarborough Fair, Prosty Sage Rosemary and Thyme, which sort of get a cut off around people who are about 35 or 40 who will <laughs> look at you and go, oh yeah, or Huh? But, and uh, I'm going to do a, a grilled vegetable lasagna for vegan vegetarians. Actually, for vegetarians, because it will have cheese, so not for vegans. And then we'll uh, some spaghetti squash, cornbread, and uh, probably, probably strawberry shortcake, but I haven't decided on the dessert for sure. That sounds awesome. <laughs> sounds like a lot of food and, and a lot of fun. We're getting uh, beer from the Night Shift Brewing Company, which is uh, in our neighbors in, in Everett. And we'll also have a case uh, or two of white wine and red wine. So it'll be, it'll, and, and then we'll also have non, you know, some soda and, and iced tea and uh, probably uh, like a, a flavored lemonade for those who don't drink. So it's not, nobody has to, to eat. What we're having two price points. If somebody, the, we'll have a door fee of $7, which will include a drink for people who just want to come in and see the music. And if people want the buffet, it's going to be $22 and that'll include the full dinner buffet and a drink and the music. So you mentioned music before. Uh, you said it's your band. What type of music are we talking about? Um, we do sort of roots rock, classic rock, um, blues, funk, R&B. My, my wife's a, a very good singer, and we, we've been playing together since, well, since the beginning of time, but since 1988 in, in the Boston area, and we've had numerous bands, which have played here on and off over the years. <laughs> so it, this is a, real, a new band for us. It, it'll be our second time out and, and, and gig, and we're really looking forward to it. What was the name of the band? The band's called Soul Shine Boston. Awesome. It's actually named after a Warren Haynes song who's uh, Allman Brothers guitarist for the last 20 years. It's a good song. I like that song. <laughs> well, this sounds really exciting, David. Thank you for sharing with us. My and pleasure. we look forward to April 17th. Great. Hope you come down. It'll be a good night. Thanks. It sounds like it's going to be an exciting evening here on April 17th at the Pop-Up Restaurant with David Stein. For more information, please visit neighborhoodview.org or MaldenReads.org. I'm Kylie Garcia with MATV's Neighborhood View. Thanks for watching.